Hey everybody, welcome back. Today is the first iteration of the Aero Barrage War. So of course we're going to be taking extra damage. It's kind of like attacking six heroes here with a special that goes off every... What is it? Starts out at five turns and then I think uh, as you do more damage it gets faster. So we're going to have to deal with that. Alright, I think we're going to go for this team here. I was looking at this team, I've put together a new anti-minion team that is pretty good. I'm not 100% comfortable with it yet, so I'm not really comfortable taking on a team like this that has Khufu and Pengi. Uh, but we'll give it a shot with a team that's not quite as powerful. If I, if I lose against this team here, then I'm going to need to retool this. If I win you know, handily, then maybe I'll start to attack higher level teams with it. But, um, let me show you the team here. So, this here is the new team. So I had a version of this where I was using Isrod. I recently got Cyprian's costume, C2 costume here. So, I really like this. He's not a whole lot different than Isrod. He doesn't do quite as much damage. But he does protect the nearby allies for, with minus 35% damage for four turns. Helps to keep them alive. We still have, we have Grimble on this team. And I've been trying to find a team that I can do, you know, try and accomplish the mission of being able to take out minion teams without losing Grimble. And that's the issues that I've had so far up to this point. <clears throat> so here we have a team that has Mother North in case I lose Grimble. I used a team with Mother North on it in the past war. I still I lost that battle. The teams that I've built with Grimble have been my most unreliable teams so far. So, here we go. This team here has Vivica, second costume, but in the left wing. That's not a good spot for Vivica. She, you can't have a healer that far out, or they don't come into play until after your heroes are dead, usually. Now, if I have such a slow start, that a slow hero is going to fire in the wing, then they probably don't need the heal. I'm, I probably haven't gotten any tiles up to that point. So that's why you don't want her in the wing. You need her at a flank position. So she's really kind of irrelevant in this, in this war. Now they've got Frigg on the left, but here they have Sorcy who target nearby enemies, get minus 54% defense you would probably want yeah this is only up to 44 percent so i would put frig at the left wing sorcy at the left flank then put vivica here at the right flank and if you're thinking vivica also does defense down all enemies get minus 44 percent defense down problem is she's at slow speed and you've got a uh, a healer here. I mean a healer. She's the healer. You have a fast speed defense down hero right here. So if you're going to deal damage, if you're trying to hit hard with a defense down, it should go Frigg, Sorcy, um, Freya, then Sobek here. And I mean... Honestly, what I would do would be to take out Sorcy. I would put in Frigg, then Vivica, then Freya, then Sobek, and then another yellow sniper on the edge here. Um, but, you know, they've got it how they've got it. They don't have a lot of mana support with a defense, a crit hero, a ninja hero. So 
we're going to take this team on. On the target, I thought that was going to happen, so. Um, yeah. I can't remember if I talked about the synergy with this team here, but with all three dark heroes firing at average speed, that means they will all fire at the same time. And this is why I like this team better than the, the version of this team that I had with Izrod. Even though that team did very well, I like being able to wipe all of the ailments off and then immediately cast Cyprian's counterattack. So nobody has any buffs or ailments except counterattack. And then, obviously, then I fire Malin and leave them with a bunch of ailments. So that's the idea. But you got to see the team in action in order to get an idea of if it works. So let's try it. And here we go. All right, well, this looks like a pretty good board to start. Let's see. If we make this green match right here, that would give me this purple match, and that would set me up with another purple match, and potentially depending on what comes up here, give me another purple match. The other option would be to take this, which would slide all of these up one, allow me to take um, this match here. That's two, doesn't direct, doesn't give the possibility of leading into the third. But I also don't want to leave dark tiles stranded up here so I think it's more important at this point this early to try and use the tiles that are up high and it's easier to get new tiles to come in obviously at the bottom of the board and so let's do this here we've got Freya's already firing Okay, let's, let's see, let's take this match and get everyone charged. They have defense up. I want Frey to fire again, so let's do this. Let's see if we can get her charged. Perfect. Now comes the arrow barrage. Oh no, it hasn't fired yet. Normally I would wait and heal after the arrow barrage, but we need to get going here. So now we will fire our counterattack, and the fact that he doesn't deal damage means we don't kill any minions. Now we take the minions and charge everyone up. So we will take one hard shot with Malin here. And now when Freya dies, we're going to lose the charge, lose everyone's charge. But that's okay because we have the Dragon Bomb. And as of right now, we've got matches. So uh, let's go ahead and get rid of Freya. I think, I think it's time. So let's do this. Dope. All right, I didn't realize. I, I guess I wasn't thinking that the the this the mana cut would come after. So it's all right. We'll get Frigg to kill herself. Probably Sorcy as well. Let's heal. We got them to back. Now, charge. Cleanse. Counter. 
And I'm going to sell back here. Bypass this counterattack. I wasn't really thinking about that, but this team is actually pretty good. Good enough that um, Sobek really isn't going to get a chance to be much of a threat. And there we have our first win. Nice. Okay. Now, I only see one minion generating a tank that where the actual minions do something substantial. And so we are going to attack this team here with, at this point, probably a pretty well-known anti-minion team of mine. Um, not sure what I was doing there. That's correct. That's good. Uh, let's give the 29 to Sekhmet. And keep Cupid Owens out too. Hitting hard. And this looks good. They have Hathor over here who's going to fire relatively quickly at fast speed. So I need to take care of Hathor. She will be taking every shot that I can fire because she will block Ojima's defensive down, or I mean mana down stack, and I can't have that. That's how this team wins. And so because she's on the wing, they didn't put her where she would best serve them, which is in the... Um, you know, flank position here, which gives me extra time. And I'm going to take advantage of that. So, let's see here. Setting off Hulda is what we want to do. And so, let's go ahead and take a bunch of matches. And we killed her. Okay. That's going to change our strategy a little bit here now. And we're going to need to do some damage. All right. They both took the... The Mind of Steel. And that gives us chance to fire some specials here. What I meant to say there was to give us a chance to clear the board. this team because it, it honestly works even without minions. Ojima deals substantial damage even if there's no minions to do the mana cut. And then of course, Jupido, Sekhmet, the healer that deals damage, how to hits hard. I like that it has multiple options and multiple ways to win. So, now we need a, let's see here. Well, let's take a look around and be right back. Okay. We have this team here. And let's look at the info. All right, they've got Vivica in the right place. They've got basically everyone in the right place. This is set up as an anti-minion team with Alucard, you know, flanking Ludwig. I that is a that that is a mistake. It's not a huge mistake. But a Lacey should be flanking Ludwig because a Lacey does the mana cut. And if Ludwig fires and gives the mana boost to a Lacey, who will begin firing basically every round 
and cutting mana on three heroes every round, the attack is over. So it's also difficult to counter this from a Lacey. So um, Alucard without minions really just is a is a light hitter. So that's not the one that you would want hitting over and over again. You would want a Lacey hitting over and over again. Or El Nadaha. Honestly, either one would be better. And Alucard at very fast speed is better in the uh, wing position. Um, I'm not a big fan of Alucard on defense. He doesn't hit hard enough. But if you have him, put him in the wing. Get your fast or medium heroes in those flank positions so they can take tiles and, and go off. Um, so we're going to go ahead and attack this team here. I want to use this team right here because that team is heavy on ailments. Let's look at the troops real quick. I definitely want to swap these around. And so we have Anubis. Yep, that's good. Okay, enemy info. If we can fire Milady to Winter, then we can steal the taunt. We can steal the mana up. We can steal the the buff block. We can reverse the um not steal the 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 buff block but actually reflect it and we can reflect a lacy there's just a lot that that we can do and anubis gives a chance to to block uh ludwig if i can't get milady to winter going fast enough it's a good team i think this is a good setup for this team here and plus their flanks are red and yellow which um helps us because we are um, purple and blue so we're strong against their flanks so let's go in and see what we can do okay we're gonna we got a dragon bomb here and that is a good start so we'll take that now Let's see here. We don't have any. We don't have any groupings where making a match is going to lead to a better, bigger grouping. So at this point, I think the recommended match is probably the best because this is going to make a blue match, which will help. And it lines up the darks here in case we get one that comes up. Not so much, but we are going to take that. And if we can get one more, we'll be in business. Let's take a chance with that, with this here. If we get a dark here, here, or here, then we've got our third match. And we got it. Okay. And I think we can do this without setting off. Perfect. Okay. This is great. This is what I was saying. I didn't. I wasn't able to get Milady to Winter going. I wasn't able to get Ludwig going yet. So we can block um, Ludwig by. Let's see here. How do we want to do this? Let's let's put the greed on. Elmadaha. And now, see that little greed mark? Now, we'll take the heal and the mana boost. Let's 
did not set off Ludwig. Okay, so we need to hit the Dragon Bomb. Yeah, see, all of Ludwig's abilities were denied. And now they're taking poison damage. Anubis is a phenomenal hero. He's absolutely fantastic. I, I love his I love that greed ability. Now we just need to buy some time and allow um Milady de Winter to um to ramp up. So let's just send some time to Ludwig. Take another 208 poison damage. That is no slouch. And now the Lady to Winter is about to ruin their lives. What? I do not want her to dispel us. So, let's just do this. dead but I got a nice little heal there Man, that's it. yeah between I really like putting Anubis and Hippo on the same team because they both do damage over time. Well, I guess Hippo is... It's sort of damage over time. I don't know what it's called. If you know what it's called, leave it in the comments. Other than just buff damage or... Or whatever. Ailment damage. Um, but that damage from Hippo every time, even your healers fire. When everyone fires. And the the poison damage from Anubis, it really lets you focus on just, just keeping your heroes alive. So let's see, we got three attacks left. I've got my dark, this team in mind here, next, this one. So this has ailment block from Cleopatra, ailment block from Aramis, it's got... Um, Cleanse from Guardian Gazelle. It's got um, Dispel and Prevention of Buffs. This is a very anti-buff, anti-ailment heavy team. And so, let's see, it probably would work well for this team. Dispelling or preventing the... Um, Dodge being able to dispel Cleopatra's ailment block and being able to um, prevent the defense down. This is a pretty good team that this that this attack team is really built for. And so here we go. We'll do Lily Panther and Aramis off to the side here. Aramis is double limit broken because he's my tank. I try to only double limit break heroes that I use on defense. Unless they're four stars. I thought I was going to use Malin on defense. As of right now, he's still too slow. So I'm, I'm playing around with different options there. 
and let's see the defense is 14 that is not enough let's put defense up to 16. Louis is the only average speed in dark so we'll give Louis the best mana troop and let's go in here all right we didn't talk much about their setup <clears throat> their setup is good I mean, they've got Cleopatra in the right position. She's going to cause all kinds of problems there. They've got a great tank. They've got their fast heroes in the wings. And they've got an average speed hero. The only thing I would have done here is to swap Bold Tusk and Cleopatra around. Because Bold Tusk increases damage if he's going to fire right before Kitty. I mean, there's another hero named Kitty. So I guess... Um, Bastet, if he's going to fire right before Bastet or on the same turn, you want him to fire right before. So uh, that's that's minor, but it is something. So uh, let's see. What have we got going here? We can make a dark match. Hmm. All right, I kind of want to take the holy match first. Because now, if we get a dark tile anywhere here, then it's going to make matches. So, yeah, and we had a green tile here, but kind of messed that up. Let's take another holy match. See if we can. Yep. We got the diamond. Okay, we will heal here, heal here. Now I want to. Hmm. One match is not going to be enough. Is it? I don't know. I want to send three dark tiles into Cleopatra. I know it won't kill her, but it'll get close. But that might not be the best move here. Let's just go with the diamonds. All right, now, anyone that really misses, we have a chance to hit again here, and anyone that Louie hit now can't dodge. So, and of course they dodged. Well, one more shot. Well, Okay. All right, we got two more attacks left. Let's look at our teams here. Quick refresher. All right, we've got a blue yellow team that is just a hard hitting team. And we've got sort of a generic minions on defense with holies to you know, combat the dark tank. I've also got a blue and green team. Yeah, let's see here. So. Hmm. That hard hitting team. Boy, this is an all attack team here. Let's see if I can put together a team that can defend against that. Hmm. Let's 
Well. This is interesting. So, the best defense against a hard-hitting team like that would be using... Have I used them already? Um, pass per two. With... Inari. This gives us defense up and dodge. But I think I actually want to do Kara. And Kara would be better. Now, let's look at the rest of these teams. With this, it allows us to use either one of these, actually. But I would probably go with these two. And maybe another healer. Like this. Or like this. Only one healer against this team is, is dangerous. I, because Passport 2 is a heal over time, I need more heal. And um, Esme is an overhealer. And so the t combination of the two of them together is sort of like one mega powerful healer. We've got Taunt right off the bat. But... We've got tile. We've got good tile damage against Lovewick here. This team. This is a sprint. This is just a race to see who gets the tiles. Whether I get tiles fast enough. Let's go for it. Let's just do this. Let me check my. Neither one of them can hit. So. Yeah. Let's do this. Hmm. Unknown target. It's either telling me they were too scared to go in or I took too long. And who did I have over here? Kara. All right. And these don't really matter with the troops. Yeah. Come on, holy tiles. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This is not what I wanted to see here. If I don't even know what to do. I guess we got to start by trying to set up a blue match because this looks like to heal. Yeah, that's not 
could. At least we took out their tank. Yeah, that starting board was particularly nasty for a team like this, so... Yeah, at least we took out the tank. Alright, let's... Now we've got that generic sort of yellow team with a lot of minion generators for defense. And so... Let's see here. That's only 50 points. Here we have, all right, we have Hohenwurf, who generates uh, fiends, and so not a lot of minion generators here for Pengi. Let's go against this team here with this team. So, we have, they have two minion generators for Penulite, and um, Arco will counter, well, let me show you, these are switched around. We're going to give Leonidas the extra defense because he's very squishy. And all right, they have Hohenworth who, does, who gives fiends, and Arco has the ability to um, turn those fiends into our own minions. He's a fiend counter. So I should probably take this team to try and prevent other teammates from having to go against Hohenworth here. Um, Hell is not a particularly great tank, so I think tile damage can probably kill her. And then, yeah, we'll use Penulite to try and take out Pengi and Mother North. And she, yeah, no other minion. Look in there at their class. Because if you're a druid, then Penulite would deal extra damage against them too. I was just seeing if Penulite does extra damage. Let's attack. Um, well, we don't have blues or reds, yet we have probably 75% of our board covered in blue and red tiles. Um, let's do this. And try and group the the holy and the dark, which did not really work well there. And let's try and clear the board a little bit. Go this way first. Now Hohenworth is ready to fire. I didn't want to fire him early. Let's take this. Let's see if uh, 
cool that can bring us back to life. too bad. Now if we can figure out a way to deal with Mother North before she gets any ideas. Alright. We got kind of lucky. I mean, we did not start lucky on tiles. We started unlucky on tiles, but as the battle progressed, we got luckier, so we were able to dig out of that hole there. And now we can finish this off. Alright, well, five for six with a unfortunately really terrible board on attack number five there but it is what it is i, I think you're basically always going to get at least one bad board if not six so let's see how we're doing here they have 81 we have 100 so it's anyone's bat anyone's war at this point let's see how my defense is doing uh, let's see, 48, that must have been a clean from, yeah, from a four earlier, a two shot. Before that, I think I had a one shot here, and that was the first time that I had been attacked. So, so defense is, okay, this is my team. It's a pretty strong team, so, uh, you know, if you have any ideas for making my defense better, let me know in the comments. If you think I could have done something better in that fifth um, battle, if I messed something up, let me know. I'll go back and, and look at it as well. But other than that, I hope your war goes well, and and I hope you liked the anti-minion team that I used in the beginning. It's me beginning to show the power of four-star heroes. So I swapped out a five-star hero and put in a four-star hero that functions better. And I don't think he even needs to be double limit broken. So at this point, I'm still saving those alpha aethers and I will be putting together more teams with more four-stars as... I get um, more done. I don't think that made any sense. As I... Oh, we swapped, we switched over here. As I finish these heroes, I can put together teams that are going to utilize other four-star heroes that I've already finished. Like... I'm particularly looking forward to making a attack team with Oh, I have Guinevere now. With Waddles. So, I need to finish. And I need to start in order to finish Bogart. So, once I do him, that's target nearby enemies get, you know, a decrease in defense all the way down to minus 34. Then I'll have that that defense down that I can then hit with mist to do higher damage and do a further defense down against um, specials. And also, um, let's see, target nearby enemies are immune to new status effect buffs for three turns. 
So Mist is going to get double limit broken, absolutely. Bogart, maybe, maybe not. It depends on how well he works. But this attack team is going to consist of Waddles, Mist, and Bogart. All four stars. And I may even throw in... Um, Cormac? No, not not on this team. No, I would probably put in Sabina with um, Regard, or it depends on the situation. I could also use Bold Tusk, but I'm going to put together an all four star team that I think is actually going to do very well. So I'm looking forward to being able to show you that. So if you're looking forward to seeing those videos, like and subscribe, and good luck, and I will see you in the next video.